Not sure what you call this thing where you're from, but for me, a rim plus a tire equals a wheel. That's the way it is around here. Anyway, that's how we roll. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So I got a lot of stuff piling up, especially over the winter where I don't really want to go outside and do anything, especially clean up. It's got a bunch of rims, got a bunch of tires around, so I figured why not make them a pair? Help clean up the yard a little bit, get it out of my way, and it's easier to use them when it's actually a functional wheel. So uh, this may help you, may help you save some time, save some money, uh, and especially if you have a kind of a blowout thing on the trail, you'll be able to re-bead a tire. So first thing we're gonna do is start getting some rims into these tires. I'll show you how to do it in the backyard. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, before we dig in, supplies you'll need, Home Depot bucket, or whatever bucket, as long as it's a five gallon, that'll do the trick. And we got some starter fluid. Now I've used a bunch of explosives and I find the best way to do this is using a little bit of ether and you can get that from starter fluid. Of course, means of fire. And you're gonna want some Dan H soapy water, my patented formula. Just kidding, it's just Dawn. Ooh, Dawn with a smear of anti seas. <laughs> Dawn and some water. So that's what we're gonna use. See, I told you crap's been piling up. <laughs> we're gonna use these Yokohama Geolanders. Hey, look, they got some water in it. No biggie, this is what we're gonna do. Just gonna try to bang the water out as best as possible with some impact onto the ground. And then when you get most of it out, the trick that gets the rest of this stuff out is tilt it up a little bit and then just push back and forth. Look at that. All that water converges on the recoil and shoots right out the lip. That remaining moisture, we're just gonna get out with a little towel. But <laughs> look at that, basically dry. All right, let's get this to where we need to work on it. All right, gonna grab some old shop cloth and wipe out the remaining puddle in here. Now, we're not gonna get it completely 100% dry. That's okay. There we go. It's mostly dry. It doesn't need to be completely dry because we're gonna be spraying it down with the soapy water. We're gonna get this nice and sudsy on the rim. The rim, <laughs> the rim, the rim of the tire, of the bead, if you will. There we go. Yeah, nice slick stuff. All right. Now we got our rim. We're gonna spray this around the lip with some soapy water. Soak it on both lips. Now you could choose your white wall or your black wall, we're gonna go with the, let's do the white wall in. I wanna display the black part. All right, now we're gonna be mindful of this sensor right here. Gonna wanna make sure the tight part is not on there. So I guess I'll start with the sensor in a loose spot. Just gonna push all around. You'll see the tire edge start to slide around. There we go, just like that. All right, half the battle is over. Now we gotta get this part around the inside of the rim. All right, now we will call upon the power of the bucket. There we go. Put this whole set right there. All right, let's see if we can manipulate this thing around the sensor first. See if that's even possible. I'm gonna try to use my hands. Push it around. There we go. And obviously, guys, <laughs> this is a 17 inch diameter tire. It's going on a 17 inch diameter rim. And uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you get that matching. Um, I hope that goes without saying. We don't wanna cram 18 inch rims into a 16 inch tire, and vice versa. A big tire will definitely not fit on a small rim. At least not in your backyard anyway. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this thing started at one spot and then the two beads will diverge 
as we work ourselves around the circumference and hopefully they will reconverge uh, at the apex. All right, going in for some soapies, maybe a little more. I'm gonna push it in with my knee a little bit. That might help. There we go. This is the part where you might need some foot action. That's what happens when you leave an old Home Depot bucket out in the sun too long. Here's my second option. tight up here I'm gonna to want to try to drive this tire into this rim so I can create more space up here at the top so I'm gonna go ahead and prop this up and step on it from the back see if we can push that in a little better There we go. She's on. All right. We got the tire on the rim. Now we got to beat it up. See that? It's uh, not going to seal in this condition. So we're going to have to do a little trick. Just going to clean her up a little bit because I stomped all over this sucker and she's filthy. Before we move on, just want to make sure that this rim has a valve in it. That uh, certainly helps <laughs> if you have a valve in. That's going to retain the air. So I got a bicycle valve tool. It's just a little screwdriver, if you will. Got a little notch in it. It's for bicycles, but it works on cars. Hey, Fiona. Good girl. All right, here's the fun part. Going to want to give a two to three second burst. Under the tire, into the rim, we're gonna fill this stuff with flammable fluids, and we're gonna leave a trail so we could ignite it and run safely. So, here we go. One, two, three. It's okay if it doesn't work the first time. It could take a few tries. All right, take two. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. We got the tire on the rim. It is now a complete wheel. <laughs> All right. 
it's probably about four pounds of pressure in here from the explosion and now we're gonna fill this baby up to about 40 psi all right we have achieved our desired pressure of 40 psi I I love this pump, it's great. It's a little slow, but you set it and forget it. It's fantastic. Power it off. And uh, DeWalt did not pay me to say that. I just really like this pump. And if you want to, sponsor me, DeWalt, please. I love your tools. <laughs> Capping this bad boy up. And uh, yeah, we did it. She's ready to go. Go clean this baby up and store her away. All right, guys, there she be. Got it all cleaned up, little tire black on that. Uh, completely unnecessary because it's going to sit in my yard till I fix another WJ. Whole nother story, but uh, don't worry about that right now. So yeah, uh, got three more to do, and then we'll have a full set ready to go. I hope this helps you guys. If you need, you could pop a tire back on now. Maybe it'll clean up your yard like it is doing for me. Maybe it could get you back on the road or back on the trail to get you home safe. If you're going to drive this long term, I highly recommend you get this thing balanced because we got no balancing agents on there right now. So you might get a little bit of wobble. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace.